Hi, we are Adam and Gloria. And together, we purchased a 1985 Mercedes 300 GD for the sole purpose of traveling around the world. We'd like to invite you to follow us along as we build, travel, and explore this wonderful world we live in. This is Vintage G Overland. Well, my shop's a little dirty, so I'm gonna clean that up first. Oh, look at that. So whenever you're building high power engines, uh, these uh, multi-layer metal gaskets are perfect. Uh, they hold up to a lot, and this is actually what uh, Mercedes would recommend to use. Very cool. All right, we got the head back on. We've got our bolts from Ben's Force. These will replace all my head studs. And we also have the torque sequence uh, that came with the gasket kit. This is uh, pretty valuable information. It's even got the torque specs there for me. Invaluable. And over here, this is all of the bolts that were taken out originally, and I put them all into this little cardboard plate. Um, it's always good to keep track of everything. Organization is definitely key whenever you're building anything. So this uh, helped out quite a bit. A good habit to get into whenever you're doing top end work is to replace the head studs if possible, because over time, the stress these bolts are under stretches them out. It's just cheap insurance to ensure your head is secured properly. So just was counting them out. Just wanted to make sure that I got everything that I needed. So I should have 20 here and six there. And I do. And if you didn't know, these six here, these are for the intake side. And this is for everything else. So, you only have six of these. Okay, so as I go along here, I'm gonna put a little bit of oil um, on these. Not a lot, you don't need a ton, but just to lubricate them up a little bit. Just gonna put a little white paper in there. Just Put these on the top right here. Okay, to So, according to the first sequence, we need to torque them down to 15 newton meters in that pattern right there. Yep. 
to use it. Level 15. Next, 35 meters. So now we have to go 90 degrees. There we go. So 90 degrees. Let's go. There we go. Right there. Steady movement. Ten minutes has passed. Now we torque it to another ninety degrees. Holy shit! It's pretty challenging on an engine stand that rolls. Oh, there we go. Woo! Eight, nine, ten. Oh, that scares me. When clicks like that. So for my next trick, I'm going to take all these caps out and clean this up so that I don't have any old dirt or oil or anything, nothing in the journals. I'll clean this up quick and uh, set these caps out to keep everything organized. All right, so before we put this other one in, we need to take it to the welding shop and we're just gonna have them put a couple of welds on there to uh, keep it from moving. So I've already 
reset my engine to top dead center. Just lining up everything here. I've got that held on by a wire. And I've got one last chain guide to get right in here. That's what this hole and this hole here is for. So there's two little dowels that go in there. So you just have to tap them through. to be. Uh, it may change a little bit once we get the uh, the cam and everything put in its proper place, but we'll adjust that before we start it up or anything. I can't quite do anything about this just yet because I don't have the pump in yet, uh, but that will all come in due time. Now in order to do this, I had to remove these that I had just recently put in earlier. So let me grab those quick pop those back in and these are directional too so um, those little uh, nods that kind of poke up there's a corresponding one that fits right in the center there so it doesn't matter which one you pick just put it in there and make sure it clicks perfect and the next one satisfying Tune in next week as we ceramic and powder coat some engine components and finish up the bulk of this engine build. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, please consider liking, subscribing, and push that notification bell for more videos. Thank you.